Hey, I'm Risa Binder, and my album Paper Heart is out now. You can get it at Amazon.com or iTunes, and it's super fun. You should grab it. I grew up in the theater um, and did shows from when I was like five years old. I did Annie and I was Molly, and then when I was in that show, I was just hooked. You know, there were so many other kids in that show with me, and I, I saw what a great, like, what teamwork it was to be on stage. Similar to having a band now, it takes a lot, like an ensemble teamwork. So from very early on, I just was always involved in the arts. When I moved to New York City, I would be auditioning for shows, and then I would write these songs that I would perform at open mic nights, and there were certain songs I would write that people would come up after and say, wow, I can really relate to that. That happened to me. Or, and that's when I realized that the songs were taking off on another level. When I went out to Nashville to make the album, um, Marshall Altman produced it with me, and we literally went through my entire catalog. So as he was picking, you know, he did pick all the while. It made me excited because there was a part of my album that's from the beginning of the journey, and then we picked things that were newer and newer and newer. So it tells a story. The album, for me, tells a story of my journey. I wrote that song, Paper Heart, about eight months before making the album, Paper Heart. And um, my co-writer said, do you know who should hear this song? Alison Krauss. And I thought, that's so crazy. How would that ever happen? Um, and when I walked into the studio with Marshall, um, she was actually recording in the um, studio that we were going to be in, and she had a question to ask Marshall, and Marshall said, Lisa, sit down. I want you to sing that song, Paper Heart, to Allison. And I was so nervous that I couldn't look at her, and I just sang it, and she said, that's a really nice song. You know, where are you from? And she was super nice, and, and I felt like that, just her being there, just made the album more magical. James Taylor, opening for him was amazing. Um, I didn't think that he would listen to my set, but he actually did, and I went to leave the stage, because it was an open air stage, and he came to me, walking towards me saying, you know, gr great job, how is it out there tonight? And I panic, I just say, it's windy. I opened for before Gavin DeGraw and Akon, actually, and there were, there's certain days in my life where I'm on stage and I go, gosh, this is amazing, if I could string these together more, then you know the train the train is rolling <laughs>